Yo, I just got a request. Keith, can you make a video talking about how to deal with elderly landscaping customers, elderly people? I'm like, yes. So here's how you deal with elderly customers. First of all, anybody who looks at an elderly person with disrespect or disdain or says because they're moving slow, uh, walking slow, driving slow, that maybe they're uh, anything negative, you're being completely disrespectful in your thoughts and in your mind. And this is very important. Should You should flip that around and say, you know what? I have respect and honor for this person because they paved the way probably for me to even be here. I have spoken with elderly landscaping customers who have, I've gone in their homes and they showed me amazing art that they've done in their entire career at like General Motors or uh, company of how they actually designed some of the cars we're driving right now like have been heads of huge companies that have been part of industries who have done things or just worked like these are the people that have paved the way for us and these people should be respected and they're extremely intelligent they've been around a lot longer than you and i have so and and i think sometimes they might even play the elderly thing to their advantage to see how sharp you are so First of all, that's how you deal with elderly people. We're actually, uh, I can't give it away any information. We're doing a property right now for one of my favorite elderly landscaping customers who we come back year after year. And this customer is so smart that she's very, very generous. And I never mistaken her generosity for Let's say anything to take advantage of. For instance, we did this uh, job, I think it was last year. And we were not only doing the landscape, we were cleaning and gutting things out and cleaning out the gutters and repairing some broken gutter downspouts that were underneath the retaining walls. And I was charging, right, of course. And after we dug up, I found that one of these gutters wasn't broken at all. It was just really clogged really bad and we were able to choo, 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 clean it out a buried gutter down so the gutter comes down goes into an elbow and then goes underneath the ground and it pops up to like a pop-up vent or a pop-up emitter excuse me it's eight lunch okay and so as soon as i realized that i went and knocked on her door i said you know mrs jones it's a fake name i say mrs jones and good news um your bill is going to go down. I, it's only going to be this much to clean this one gutter because we thought it was broke when we were in looking at it together. It's not. Just the, the some of the, uh, the hardware had popped off and we just had to repair it, put some screws in where, where the gutter meets the downspout. And I thought that it was broken. It looked broken. She goes, oh, no, 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 honey. Anything that you see, I want you to charge me for. So charge me the full amount. I said, no, no, no. It wasn't even broken. We just repaired it real quick. I already have the tools. I got I got a toolkit. It was there's no extra charge. She goes, but you make sure that you charge me for anything. And over and over and over, this customer is implying that I should charge her full amount for anything. And I said, ma'am, I really appreciate it, but that's just what it is, right? So as I go back and I'm I'm, I'm messing with the gutter, we're putting the bricks back, and we go on to the next thing. I'm thinking in my head, I was like. This amazingly intelligent elderly customer, are they lead, leaving themselves wide open? There's a saying, if you give someone a rope long enough, they'll hang themselves. I felt this feeling as if God was looking at me, like right there, right? And then I also thought about elderly people have adult children who can be highly protective of them. Right? So if they even got wind that you were taking advantage or even pontificated that you might be, they don't know you, they don't know your heart, they don't know anything about you. So when you do work for an elderly person, not only do you, you put everything in line items and make it crystal clear what you're doing and you make sure that your words match what's in writing, right? But you also do all that too. And you also stay in communication so everything in your consciousness is completely clean. And this also goes the same way if there's an elderly client that's on a fixed income 
the opposite. So I just make sure whenever we take care of our elderly clients, it's out of respect. I charge what I would charge any other normal customer. Like I have to run a business and make a profit. They're, they're a customer, right? Because I have had elderly clients. Um, how can I say this in the most respectful way? It, it purposely try to take advantage of me and pull out the elderly card. Like they'll do everything they can to whittle me down and get me down and use like uh you know negotiation tactics and i'll get the price down and then when i finally get the give them the price then they'll be like and can you give me the senior citizens discount and 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 i've had them to, all the way to the point where i felt like it was like i could just tell that they were um what's the right word Because I'm trying to say, would I do the same thing when I'm older? I don't think I would. But I have had a few uh, elderly customers purposely try to use that to, I don't know if take advantage is the word, but they just want the best discount that they could possibly get. And they're using everything at their disposal to get it. And hey, I appreciate the hustle. And there's times where I'm like, you know what? And I'll give you the senior, sen se senior citizen discount, another 10% off. And those have turned out to be some of my greatest customers. But there's been a couple I've been like, Sir, <laughs> I, listen, I already gave you a discount here and a discount here and a discount here and a discount there. Now you want this discount? <sighs> and it feels like like the, my, like my, it just drained all the life force out of my body and now I feel unfair. So, I don't know. I've acquiesced and I said yes anyways because I can't tell a senior citizen no, right? There was one senior citizen. This guy outright, I don't even know, he must have been aware. He outright disrespected me several times. And it doesn't matter about the age. Elderly clients should be respected. But this guy tried to whittle, whittle me down so low. And then he, 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 I don't even know if I can repeat this on the internet. He told me, I gave him a price. It was a thousand bucks to trim up his, his property and the ornamental trees and stuff. And that was a good deal. He was telling me about how, you know, how like eight years ago he had the certain uh, nationality of guys that was up on a ladder, on the tip of a ladder, risking their lives, trimming it for 250 bucks doing the same type of work. And I'm, and I'm like, I could just tell by the price. These guys probably weren't licensed. They weren't insured. They're they're doing unsafe practice, risking their lives, literally. And, and and I'm like, wait a second. You're trying to get me. You're telling me how some guy how some guy was on a ladder, uh, standing on the top ledge of the ladder with nothing to hold on to, with his leg out, way up, trimming some ornamental tree, in, unsafely for 250 bucks your whole property. And I'm telling you, it's a grand, so I can do it professionally the right way. And you're asking me why I can't do that. Why can't you do that for, for $250? I had another guy eight years ago do that. And I'm going back and forth with this customer. And he's also trying to pull all the discounts on me. And I felt this sense of like, whoa, I don't belong here. I got to get out of here. So people are people. And people do what people do. I feel this is an uncomfortable topic. I've gotten myself down a rabbit hole here, folks. And I'm trying to dig myself out of it. Last story. I have these clients. They could be my own grandparents. We have discontinued interior window cleaning. We have a $500 minimum to do any interior window cleaning in my business. We do landscaping and window cleaning. So I've raised the prices. Like, it's just too much liability to go in all these people's homes, right? for all types of various reasons. Like you could just scratch a $50,000 hardwood floor and now you're on the hook to fix someone's $50,000 hardwood floor because the ladder had a little grain of sand in it and uh, scratch the floor. You could drop water down a beautiful white paint polo paint walls and now they're wanting you to repaint, you know, $6,500 to repaint their whole living room. You could get accused for breaking some. You could break something, right? You, dude, anyways, these customers, it's 500 every time we clean the windows, but I don't even want to do it, man. All these mirrors and everything. These people are so sweet. They're in their 90s. Oh, Keith, we love it. Ah. They lay it on thick, too, because they know I don't want to do it no more. Every year, you are going to come next year and do it, aren't you? 
I see. Well, I, uh, I. Well, we don't have anybody else. And our last window cleaner cleaned our window so long, he unfortunately passed away. You're our guy. Who else would do it if you don't? Oh, please. And I say, Jesus. All right, maybe I give myself an out. Maybe. So maybe it means yes, right? All right, I'll do your I'll do your windows again forever. And then every time I go there, and I talk to my wife about this, I go in to clean the windows, and as soon as I'm there and I'm dripping by the sweat of my brow, because I'm going in the house, I'm cleaning the windows, I got my guy where he's working on the outside. I'm I'm the one there. All right. Everything meticulous. I lay drop cloths down when I clean these with all these mirrors to catch any drop. Like everything is perfect. I lock and close every window, make sure every screen is clean and all the tracks are wiped. Like Dude, meticulous. I put my heart into this. Halfway through that job, every single time when the sun is shining through the window, and I see like pictures of Jesus on the walls, I think about how I started this business to because with a heart of service is how it got me so many clients. And I think about the times where I got upset and I became more concerned about the transaction getting in and out and less about the client because I felt like the clients didn't care about me anymore. So why should I care so much about clients who were going to drop me on my head and fire me over a 10% price raise so I could feed my family? It just became more transactional. And and doing stuff like that, especially for elderly people, is what keeps you humble. It keeps your head right. And when I sit at that kitchen table and I have my clipboard and I write up the invoice, they almost cry. They tell me how grateful they are and they mean it. They tell me, say, say, tell your wife that we said hello. Merry Christmas. We we are so happy that you come here. And 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 I sit. I totally relax. And I say I got to get out of there. But and but I'm I'm present. And I actually really care about these people. And I would bawl my eyes out if if and when I find out if they pass on to the afterlife before me. My elderly clients, I care about and can even say I love more than any of my other clients because most of them, <laughs> they see the big picture. And photo storage is full. Exactly. Do not take more photos. Sorry, that's my, because um, I said the word picture and it automatically takes a picture. So, dude, it keeps you humble. So... Elderly people are amazing. They're to be respected and honored. That's how you deal with elderly people. If you keep that first in your thoughts, then um, everything else will fall into place. I have another elderly customer. One last story. She has to hold my arm when we walk around her property so she doesn't fall. And I put my arm out well, like with chivalry. My back is straight. And very slowly, one foot in front of the other, when we walk around her gardens to show everything, so she could show me what she wants done on the property. Nothing else matters in that moment but the safety of that woman so she doesn't fall. And my whole heart is connected, holding my arm out, right? And when I leave, I feel like a good man. I feel like I love my business. And I feel like this is... God put me here to show these people. <laughs> I don't want to put, put, speak out of the side of my mouth. I want to be because I really mean it. Because this has been a journey for me. Some elderly people think that the young generation is messed up and they don't have any respect anymore. Because some of them don't. And so it's our job. To when you're when you're when you're in the parking lot at the grocery store and the people are walking back and forth and the elderly person walks across, you stop far back and you let them walk. And you wait till they've walked all the way across until you tap let your foot off the brake and you know, cruise past. You don't rush them. And it should be a high reminder that they're treated with respect. That's how I feel right now. All right, that's how you uh, serve elderly people in your service business.